Hello, it's Matt from Guitar Nerds and I am with Glenn from Delta Sleep here at Arc Tangent Festival in Bristol and we are talking pedal boards, we're talking guitars. So you guys played today, yesterday? Was yeah, it, so think? we played yesterday about six o'clock. Yeah. Um, yeah. How was really, really, yeah, really fun, very good, very enjoyable, uh, lots of people there and yeah. The thing that we've noticed is loads of pedal boards and loads of really interesting guitars which is why we've kind of got everyone together kind of talk through their gear. So with your pedal board, what is the kind of main thing you were thought of thinking when you put it together? Is there anything that you kind of use all the time? Is you know what are the kind of main features that you kind of go for on it? Yeah, so like I don't know personally, like for guitar effects, I don't like stuff that changes the sound of it too much. Like I don't really like I go in, go in for like flanges or modulations or kind of anything like that. Okay. So essentially, I've just got three delay pedals and a tremolo pedal. Um, yeah, so. There were kind of delays all going through each other, basically. So you've got quite a lot of options as well. But um, yeah, there's quite a lot of depth to each of the pedals. Like okay. So I mean, like amp-wise, obviously. So I see you got like a Maxon Overdrive. Do you running clean and just using that as your driver? Yeah. So I've got. Drive um, on the amp, it's called a Selma Treble and Bass. Oh yeah, cool. Yeah, yeah. Classic. It's like a, yeah, it's like a 1967 kind of bass and guitar head, but I run them through each other. Okay. Yeah, it's great. It's kind of like almost like a Vox head sort of. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it has that kind of nice AC30 sound. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But um, yeah, I love it. So I essentially have quite a driven, clean sound, and then yeah, I've, I use the Maxon for the heavy stuff. Cool. And an EQ, which I've seen a few times, just a, an ideal boost, really. Yeah, it's just to give it like a bit more brightness in, uh, like, ta particularly in tapping stuff. Like, yeah. I was going to get a compressor pedal, but. Yeah, I just prefer that. It's just a bit more welly. Fine. And I mean, so um, Pigtronics Ecolution, kind of awesome delay pedal. Um, I mean, they make <coughs> some, I mean, Pigtronics make some funky pedals. Everything they do tends to kind of go down the weird and wonderful route. Is there anything you sort of do use that? Well, I mean, this is actually the, new, the newest thing that I got. I got it for my birthday in June. And um, it's like, there's so much depth to it, but essentially it's just a, an echo pedal. But yeah. yeah, the depth comes in like the multi tap for it. So yeah. there's all these like different like fractions almost yeah so we, we were actually um we were talking about this uh, the other guitar nerds people were talking about this a few weeks ago like that pedal in particular has got all these kind of weird ratios that you that's can right yeah, have yeah. There. so it allows you to create, get a little bit more creative i mean i kind of bought it more with the intention of getting to work with it in the studio and like that's when i can really like sit down and work out exactly how i'm using it but yeah so, so I mean, far i still haven't really touch the surface of how many things I can do with that pedal. So I mean in, in the studio how do you kind of approach your guitar sound? Do you kind of deconstruct your pedal board? Do you just kind of leave it as is and just everything sort of flows yeah, I just leave creative it wise at, like that? On the last two albums I just left it as it was. Yeah. And kind of did everything like on the fly and then if there was anything that we wanted to overdub with a certain effect then we try that but usually I actually tried to do everything while we were playing it. Yeah. You know, so there are good things and bad things about that, but I think we just wanted it to be as live as possible, you know, for sure. better and for worse. Yeah, yeah, and I mean, and alongside that, obviously we've got this amazing telly, which everyone sort of commented on as soon as you got it out of the case. Sure, yeah. So, because I thought it was an old one, but you've had it resprayed and you've got a custom plate. Do you want to just grab it for us? And yeah, sure. Look? There she is. So, so this is um, the first guitar that I bought. I got it when I was about 14 years old, so it was like 2000 and Three, okay. Something like that. It's just a. It's actually just a standard Mexican telly, but I've like had the electrics changed a bit, so it's kind of a bit more s solid. And anyway, my housemate, one of my best friends, is a carpenter. Okay. So he does a lot of furniture and like antique restoration and things like that. And he's also he's actually now started like I don't know how you call it luthiering. He's a luthier. He makes <laughs> okay, yeah, yeah. guitars. Yeah, yeah. But um, yeah, he's like like seriously an absolute master when it comes to anything to do with wood. He builds houses and, you know, the stuff he makes is incredible. So guitars is like a natural Yeah, yeah. Really. Um, he actually wanted to do this because he just like really loved the guitar. Um, I just told him to do whatever he wanted with it. It was actually just a standard Sunburst uh, it Mexican telly. It looks awesome. I don't know but how well that's yeah. going to come so across on camera, but it's like, it it looks like genuinely old. Which yeah, is amazing no, no. as well. Yeah, so he basically took off the, um, like, is it like acrylic, I think? Yeah, Most, it's, like a, it's normally like a poly, isn't it? Like yeah, it's, quite a thick it's like a kind of those. lacquer. Yeah, he took it all off, which I think, yeah, he said it like makes the guitar just breathe a bit better. Yep. And um, this is actually a sunburst, but it's actually shellac. It's like, um, yeah, it's kind of French polish, I think you call it. Yeah, yeah. But uh, 
he basically covered it in that and then with alcohol just kind of rubbed it off until he made his own sunburst so it kind of has this really nice natural like grainy kind of sunburst to it and he kind of made this little uh, maple inlay as well which is just yeah i mean it's, it's amazing cool. binding on it as well it's like one of the coolest looking teddies i've, I've seen because there's quite a lot of like Telly, Telly seems to be like a popular guitar. Like we've mm. seen quite a few of them today, but that one like totally stands out as being like super yeah, unique. Yeah, sure. As I well. mean, as a backup guitar, I could have just this guitar again. Like yeah. the seventy two customers definitely. It's always been the guitar that like I've had other guitars like that I've tried to use as my first guitar, yeah. but I just keep coming back to this one. It's just so solid and awesome. Sit, like simple and has a bit of everything you know cool and I understand you've got you've just had a repress of one of your records was that right yeah well? that's right we just got our record Twin Galaxies repressed um, yeah so pretty happy that we sold out of the first pressing like at all and yeah great to have another repress of that and, and the same guitar and pedal board on the record then yeah yeah it is it is cool and where can people find you Obviously. so you can find us on uh, Bandcamp it's probably the best place yeah or um, I mean obviously Facebook and Twitter and all that kind of stuff but yeah if you want to like check us out I'd say Bandcamp. Awesome man. So there we have it that is uh, Glenn from Delta Sleep here at Arc Tangent Festival. Now for more uh, Arc Tangent news you can join us on Facebook so don't forget to like and subscribe to Guitar Nerds for more videos coming soon. Thanks very much. <laughs>